What's up everybody? 34 Luna wanted me to do a video on the uh, 12 volt power outlet that I put on the bike back before the Ozarks meetup. And I figured I'd just do a little walkthrough. I'm not going to tear the bike apart or anything, but it's pretty easy. I just went to my local marine supply store, boat, shit like that. So I got a marine quality uh, power plug. So on the back of this here on the plug itself there's a rubber boot that covers the whole depth piece of itself so it helps keep it a little more waterproof water resistant I guess you would say but for putting one on the FC6 it's pretty easy if you drop these two allen wrench heads here this plastic piece comes out completely which will give you more than enough room to get into here and to drill your hole and put this in for the FC6, the battery is right here underneath the gas tank. So you just drop these two uh, Allen bolts here, pull the seat off, and the whole tank actually clamshells up on a pivot point down here. And I just grabbed me a block of wood or something, set it up to hold the tank up while I was working. But uh, I think the plug piece itself was about 15 bucks or so. And then you also want to get you a, a waterproof inline fuse connector. I think that was another ten, twelve dollars. Then all you need is a couple of feet of. So I think I use sixteen gauge wire and your electrical connectors. And the uh, on the plug, it pretty much tells you step by step how to go about what size hole saw to use and everything. And like I said, it was really easy. It probably took me once I got everything torn apart, maybe fifteen minutes to get it installed. A lot of people will take theirs and relay it, either off the tail lights or the blinkers or something like that. But doing some research, I found out if all you're doing, like what I do, is run my GPS off of it or charge your cell phone or anything small like that, your camera stuff, you're not pulling that many uh, amps off the battery to begin with. So, unless you just plan on leaving your GPS or whatever hooked up for about a week, which is about how long it would take to run the battery down. It's really not worth running all the extra wires and stuff. I can understand if you're running heated grips or heated vest where you're going to be pulling a lot more amps off the battery. It's probably a better thing to relay it so you don't leave it on by accident. But for just general purpose stuff, small stuff, you can just run straight to the battery. Let's see, I don't know if you can see, but I wound up coming out down and around and then running the wires back through and coming in on this side because there was just too much stuff buried on this side of the bike but like I said I think it's maybe two feet of 16 gauge wires a couple of spade bits and a couple of uh, circular connectors just so you can tie it to the battery post and honestly that's about it nothing major nothing difficult and it's just something that's really nice to have there just for those just in cases or running GPS's alright any more questions please ask